This program contains strong language and sexual references throughout. Things are all good with me and Tash. I feel like obviously some of the boys are getting their eyes wandering, but I've got the best looking bird in the villa, so I feel like what's the point in going elsewhere? Mm, my teeth are disgusting. Uh, my eyes are so tired. Last night, Charlie told me that we're done because he doesn't want to deal with all the drama. I'm constantly just made out to be the bad person. I'm not making it all about making up Charlie, falling out with Charlie, making up Charlie. I just want to enjoy my experience with everyone now. What are you thinking about this situation? It's done, mate, isn't it? Can't keep happening, can it? I've woke up feeling exactly the same as last night. We just can't be together. It doesn't work. It's toxic. It's not good for everyone in the villa, and it certainly ain't good for me and her. Looking at the point where me and Clara's at, it's not, it's not a bad place. I just didn't see what's wrong with still staying with Clara exactly the way I am, but new person in here, I love having a conversation with them. I just didn't see the issue with it, considering that me and Clara are not exactly together. Yeah. So last night, I told Chloe that I didn't want to put an end to things. Um, I do like the girl. I do think there is something there. However, I can't help but want to speak to Alexis as well. If you think you'd regret not shooting it with Alexis, then do it. So another day and another Aussie love triangle. And you can bet your bacon, it's gonna be another awkward breakfast. So, Nadia, how is things <laughs> going with tea? I saw you getting a little smoochy smoochy. <laughs> You're so <laughs> Yeah, it's going great. <laughs> oh, who's better, Junior or I'll take <laughs> Or you? Oh, okay. <laughs> been, it's been a long time since I was in that situation, brother. No comment. I'm, fine, I'm not okay. disrespecting people here. That's when I knew that it was you. Buzz and Chloe, what's the situation? What's going on? You lot weren't sharing beds last night. You were sharing beds the night before. What's going on? Uh, to be honest, I think... With my ex being here and everything, I just don't think I was able to be myself anyway, so I've been feeling like shit through that. And he's open to get to know people, so I can't say anything about that either. And with Abby being here, my head's been everywhere, do you know what I mean? So I've not been able to just relax with it. I think I might have just got a bit sad last night. There's nothing I can really do, I've done my part. I've said however I feel, so. Sorry. Sometimes I feel so empty of hope. Now I can hardly breathe. I think Chloe, she's just at an incredibly vulnerable point. I think for her to even let down her guard, it's frightening her. And I equally think the same for Oz. And now it's either going to crumble or they're going to fix it, but it needs to fix today. Obviously, Alexis came in. It's like, I, will, I, I might get to know I might have conversations with her, but I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Mm. Because at the end of the day, I am single and we're not exclusive and we're not, we've not had that conversation. I don't know what I'm crying for. Because it's emotional. I'm very hurt. I'm very confused. I've been so open and honest with Ozzy and I feel like, once again, my head is just all over the shop. It's been so weird for me the past few days. Yeah, understandably as well. You haven't had a normal ex either. You've probably had one of the hardest rides in here with that. No one's had this so far, like this. So, and then, like, so what, where do you two stand now, you and Alexis? It's just a case of someone's coming that is attractive, and I think it's not the end of the world if I do speak to them. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, I'm in a position now who is left that I have attraction with and who I could possibly have something with moving forward. And again, there's nothing wrong with me exploring that. And I have obviously respect Chloe in the same position. 
I think at this point, it's very obvious that I've stepped on toes, but at the end of the day, I need to do what's right for me as well. Oof, you do you, hon. After an emotionally charged breakfast, it seems everyone's in the mood to let off some steam. You good at arm wrestles? Yeah. Come on, I've now been beaten on arm wrestles. I beat you. Bet you don't. Right. I bet. Oh, I bet. I bet you don't. Dum, dum, dum. All right, ready? I've got to hold it. Oh! No, no, only because I'm hot. Well, we get tops off. Tops are off. Dicks are out. You can this fight is scheduled for one oh, fall. Oh. Wait, three. Wait, wait, wait. You can't guys, wait. guys, be careful though, because. I've seen some freak accidents with this shit. One, go. Come on. Ah! <laughs> oh, 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 wait. Oh, my God. Brother, fucking what happened? Told you what's happened? Not. He's having an arm wrestle with T and he's literally snapping on. Oh, shit. What? DNT are arm wrestling. All I hear is snap and Jay's arm is gone. I know it wasn't my fault. I know both of us wanted to do this arm wrestle. I'm feeling so guilty right now. I hope he's all right, and I hope he manages to come back to the villa.